The fourth and last classifier in our discussion of classification approaches is the linear classifier. Given any training data, this classifier draws a straight line between the available classes. These are the instances belonging to the circle class and these are the instances belonging to the cross class. Now this line gives the best separation between these two different types of data that is being acquired from the training data. Once this line is drawn, the training data is being removed and any unseen document can be seen on which side of the line it falls. If it falls on this part of the line, it's being decided as belonging to the circle class, otherwise it's being decided as belonging to the cross class. This is the formula that is being used for linear classification. In this case, for the sake of simplicity, we have assumed that our training data has documents that consist of only two features or words, represented by x1 and x2. Each document is going to have a certain value as frequency or TF-IDF representation for x1 and x2, while W0, W1 and W2 are the weights that are being that are to be calculated from the training data. These W0, W1 and W2 weights decides the orientation of this line. W0 is the distance from the origin while W1 and W2 decides the slope of this line along x1 axis and along x2 axis. The, the linear classifier can be represented with this for any given type of training data. However, the weights W0, W1 and W2 can be different for any particular data set. X1 and X2 would come from the training data. In order to decide the label for an unseen document, its X1 and X2 values are put into the formula while W0, W1 and W2 are going to remain the same as was being acquired from the training data and this is going to decide what is the value. If that falls on the left side of the line then it's a blue circle otherwise it's a red cross. This type of solution is rigid in its approach that for any given type of problem, the model is always going to give a solution that is linear. This model cannot go beyond this, beyond this and give a quadratic or cubic solution. For any problem that is being addressed with a linear classifier, the solution is going to be a line separating multiple labels and that line is going to be represented by a formula like this.